In a little bit over a week, Germany is going to vote for a new parliament. According to current polling, seven parties are going to get in. The SPD, the CDU, the CSU, the Green Party, the FDP, the AfD and the left. The CDU and CSU are generally caucusing together, so essentially we'll have six caucuses and I will treat the two as one party. So six parties give us a lot of potential governing coalitions, at least mathematically, but only six that might actually happen because all those that would involve the AfD are impossible since nobody wants to work with them. Um, so these governing coalitions uh, range from pretty small having to rely really on party loyalty and the whips to keep people in line with the Fraktionszwang, aka the party line, uh, in order to keep the government going, to probably maybe even a two-third majority that could essentially even rewrite the constitution on its own, uh, or at least try to. And uh, that, by the way, would be the Kenya coalition. A coalition between the two or the three strongest parties, as it looks like, the SPD, the CDU, CSU, and the Green Party. Um, but that is also the least likely coalition, because the CDU, CSU is not very likely to actually become the junior partner to the SPD. And that will be the case in that coalition, since the SPD is looking like they will be the strongest caucus, with the CDU CSU only being the second strongest and the Green Party the third strongest. Uh, but it's not just that. While the SPD and the Green Party really want to work together, especially the SPD wants to go into a coalition with the Green Party, um, the CDU would say would probably prefer if they had to be a junior partner to the SPD to either just continue the grand coalition as it is right now, just with the SPD as a junior senior partner, and that is a possibility, or go into a Germany coalition between them, the SPD and the FDP. Because having the SPD and the Green Party as coalition partners would mean that the CDU CSU on some political issues uh, would be in the minority when it comes to social policies, for example. Um, neither the SPD leadership nor the Green Party leadership will really stop any kind of neoliberal politics being implemented, and they might actually prefer Kenya coalition because then they can point to the CDU CSU as being responsible for that, which is also kind of the reason why both prefer the traffic light coalition. That would be CDU, not CDU CSU, SPD, Green Party and FDP, uh, where they then can always blame the FDP. Um, so yeah, Kenya is not very likely. That is the least likely of the six right now potential coalitions. Um, I already mentioned the Grand Coalition. That is the second least likely, in my opinion, because, well, it's small and you really need party loyalty, but with some more right-wing uh, leaning members, outright right-wing members, of the CDU CSU getting into parliament or looking like they get into parliament, same with more left wing members of the SPD, that would be harder. It would be harder to actually keep everybody together and keep Olaf Scholz on sure footing as a chancellor. Plus, the SPD party base kind of hates this idea, and most of party leadership is also not really sold on it. So, this would be a last resort if everything else falls through. And this leads to the other options. I already mentioned the traffic light coalition. Uh, that would be, um, again, SPD, FDP and Green Party. Prefer coalition for the SPD and also apparently the Green Party. But Christian Lindner, FDP chair, said last Monday he does not 
want this. He has no idea what SPD and Green Party have to offer the FDP in order to get them into this coalition. The FDP essentially said we are only, to go, only going to go into coalition as long as the CDU is in there. This leaves two other options. One is the Germany coalition, CDU, CSU, SPD and FDP, and the Jamaica coalition, CDU, CSU, FDP and Green Party. And out of these two, the most likely is the Jamaica coalition. Actually, it's the most likely out of all. The CDU, CSU would prefer this definitely um, in order to not be the junior partner to the SPD, the FDP, wants only this or the Germany coalition and the Green Party desperately wants to get into government. If the other options fall through, they will immediately go for this. And since the last possible option I didn't mention so far, the uh, left-wing coalition out of SPD, the left and the Green Party has gotten a kind of no from Annalena Baerbock in an interview this week there is no other option for the Green Party to get into government but Jamaica. So they are going to go for it. I'm pretty sure party leadership, at least part of it, is going to push for it. The party base will not really like it. Some people in party leadership are going to say this is going to kill our political brand and they won't be wrong. But I'm fairly certain this is the one they're going to give the first shot to. And it might go through. And that would mean Ami Laschet becomes Chancellor. And if that is the case, God help us all. The only way for this not to go through would be if the Green base manages to organize in a ballot vote to say no to it. Which then would mean that Annalena Baerbock, who was essentially responsible for this, would have to go. That would reopen the doors for a left-wing coalition between SPD, Green Party and the left which might open up again the possibility of a traffic light coalition because in that case Christian Lindner might be like oh before you go into a coalition with the left um, we might be free now also kind of destroying his own brand that is essentially his uh, sentence from 2017 is better not to govern than govern the wrong way so he should then go into the opposition. Which would mean, in that case, yes. Red, red, green is like not just possible, but likely, as long as the left actually gets into parliament. 6% is not that secure, but I think they're going to get in. So, what do, does this mean uh, overall? What is the ranking between the likelihood of the different coalitions. Sad, least likely Kenya. It's just, I don't see it happening. Um, on number five would be the Grand Coalition. As I said, last resort, but not very likely that we get there. And we would have, I would think on number four, the Germany Coalition. Uh, the only way for that to happen would be if Olaf Scholz would be like, I only play the long, I don't want to go into a coalition with the left and Greens, um, I don't like you anymore, you wanted to go into a coalition with the CDU, CDU and the FDP, so I'm not going to go into a coalition with the CDU, CDU and the FDP, but he would have to convince other parts of the party and they might not be as willing to go that round as a neoliberal as he is would. Uh, so that's the only number four. Number three is, in my opinion, either the traffic light coalition or the uh, left wing coalition. They are essentially fighting for num the number three, number two spot. Uh, it all depends on Christian Lindner if he is willing to essentially ignore what he said, and I wouldn't put that below him to do so. Um, then we will get a traffic light coalition if he isn't and he sticks to his guns. We will get a red, red, green coalition, which I think would be the best outcome. Or um, number one, and as I said already, this is the most likely. It would also, in my opinion, be the absolute worst outcome, uh, a Jamaica coalition. <sighs> 
And I just really, really hope that's not going to be the case and that I'm wrong about Baerbock and that I'm in right about the Green Party base and that they would reject any attempts of anybody in power leadership to lead them down that path.